Hi, it's Matt. Today we're going to be making a model of Wang Shuin from Genshin Impact. Let's get into it. First, we need to get an idea of the layout and size of the landmark. To do that, I'm running and gliding around, using Kea as a reference for scale. And because Kea is around 6 feet tall, I can do some math and determine the size of Wang Shuin based on the number of Keas. Then, I'm using SketchUp to take in all the dimensions and make a rough 3D model. Lastly, I'm printing out a one-to-one -one template, which will help in cutting and laying out the structure. Except my printer doesn't want to work, so... There we go. Let's begin construction. The base of the model will be this panel of extruded polystyrene. These pink sheets are normally used for insulation in construction, a noble cause. Instead, today they will serve as the foundation for a diorama. I'm framing the panel with plywood on the sides to make the edges look clean. Wow, look at that glue line. So smooth. Once the glue has fully cured, it's time to use the template we printed out earlier. I'm using a pencil to trace over the lines and scribe impressions into the foam. These grooves will be guides for laying out Wang Shu in. Okay. Let's make the rooms of the inn. I'm using chipboard for the interior floors of the rooms, using a template stuck onto the material. To make the walls, I'm cutting some basswood sheets. And it'd be no good if there weren't windows, cause natural light is great, so I'm popping those out too. There's this reddit post from two years ago called The Mystery of Wang Shu Inn. And I definitely understand question number six. Where are the rooms? You can't even go in this one. We'll take a quick break from the rooms and work on the exterior flooring. I'm cutting out the shape from chipboard. Then it's a time consuming process of laying out wood beverage stirring sticks. So it looks similar to wood flooring. There we go. I think it looks pretty cool. Okay, back to the rooms of the mystery inn. At first, I used some tacky glue to join the walls. That didn't work so well. So, hot glue to the rescue. The interior floors are also hot glued into place. Just to see how it's looking, I taped the exterior floors onto the main building. Hmm. I sort of see it, but there's a lot more to do. And by a lot more to do, I mean totally getting distracted and not working on the main building. This is the design for the piers. Same thing, it gets covered with wood stirring sticks to fill that wood panel aesthetic. I'm purposely choosing sticks with more variation in sizes for character. To make the columns of the pier, I'm cutting notches into a round wood dowel and slipping the deck into place. And for extra detail, some smaller dowels are cut at a 45 degree angle and glued on with tacky glue. Let's make the roofs of the main building now. I'm using some corrugated paper sheets to make the texture of the roof. The roof panels are hot glued together and joined to the rooms. I also 3D printed a bunch of additional details for the rooms. These caps go on the end of the roof. These support the roof. And this part goes on the sides of the doorway. Lastly, this decorative piece hangs above the entrance. I'm building the elevator structure out of various sizes of square wood dowels. This is the lobby of the elevator on the ground floor. It has a nice queuing area with overhead cover to shield important visitors from rain or sun, like the charming Master Jean. 
And now we can incorporate a new modeling material, LEDs. These tiny lights will make the model look 10 times cooler, at least that's what I think. And to keep the model wire free, I'm drilling some tiny holes to run the wires through. This is the top of the elevator, which is where a motor will sit to raise and lower the cabin. To facilitate any maintenance, I 3D printed the roof and added magnets so it can be easily removable in case something breaks. Now we can begin building the water wheel, a very similar construction procedure, cutting the panels out of chipboard, gluing on stirring sticks for the wood panel aesthetic, and then gluing it all together. I'll also bring into discussion this Reddit comment. What is keeping that five-story water wheel spinning? I bet Wang Shuin is just a front for money laundering. Most of the actual water wheel is 3D printed, helping to save time. The size of the wheels might also work as very large bay blades. Anyways, we can glue in all the paddles of the water wheel. Quick test with the airbrush to see if it actually works. Okay, we're getting close to complete with the water wheel. Next is to make the covering that goes on top. I think I'm most proud of this part of the build. It looks great. I'm not sure what was going on in this shot. Let's get back to foam. First, I'm using a wire brush to roughen up the surface of the pink XPS foam we cut at the beginning. This will allow the glue to adhere much better. Once the foam blocks are glued on, I'm drawing the silhouette of the stone pillar in preparation for carving it out. No, I didn't grow more arms. Those are just my girlfriend's hands. She ended up doing most of the carving of the stone pillar, and I was just supervising. Let's prepare the parts for paint. I'm covering up the corrugated paper roofs with matte Mod Podge to give them some strength. I'm also masking off the LED lights so I don't accidentally get paint on them. And a couple coats of white primer gets us this. Here, I'm drilling a hole into the side of the base to install a port for a wall power. On the other side of the base, I dug out an area for power distribution boards. I don't think we need this many, but I'll keep them here for now. And then I'm running a wire down the height of the pillar so we can feed power to the rooms at the top of the structure. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next project. Maybe Wang Shuin will be done.